fascinating news about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, even as the markets are very turbulent and are bouncing up and down a lot. Um, just a quick look at the Bitcoin news, and I'm looking here at Cointelegraph, uh, shows that the institutional framework that is developing around Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is expanding in a very dramatic fashion. Let's look at this one. Ledger X debuts its first Bitcoin savings account licensed by the CFTC. This is again one of the another first uh, in uh, in a number of significant institutional developments that we've seen over the last couple of weeks, starting with the Goldman Sachs news and some others. But this is uh, the uh, the trading clearing platform Ledger X has now got a BTC savings product. It's licensed by the CFTC, uh, as Forbes reported on May 15th. So this is certified by a derivative, uh, derivatives clearing organization license and a swap execution facility license. So it basically, uh, uh, as the, the COO of Ledger X says, they have to get both licenses and uh, thereby they can do a number of services for their clients. So uh, this allows users to earn a yield on Bitcoin assets. So instead of just hodling and hoping, you can, uh, you can earn a fiat-based yield on your Bitcoin by using what's uh, called the call overwrite technique. And basically this is uh, where you would deposit Bitcoin into LedgerX and then uh, sell a call option. Now it's a little bit sophisticated for a lot of people, uh, but uh, those kinds of trading options are available in that kind of market. We have other more simple uh, buy-sell operations and even some automated trading robots. So if you'd like information about that, well, you can click a link below. But this is a, a, a more sophisticated one for other uh, types of institutional uh, uh, investors. And basically, you get a simple BTC option trading to a basic point-and-click format. So uh, less sophisticated bull traders can get a premium price on their holdings. So this is going to be really interesting. And uh, by the way, in the system that we, we have below that allows you to build up cryptocurrency uh, commissions, you can also get yourself a LedgerX account and uh, perhaps get started uh, with, uh, with uh, putting some of your long-term funds into LedgerX. And, uh, you know, perhaps you'd like to check this out. But uh, what we've also seen, according to Forbes, is 70% of the trade volume of LedgerX has come from options with an average trade size of 60,000. So, again, some would be smaller than this, uh, many would be larger, and the options contracts would be for three months or six months. So, uh, again, another one. And uh, here they report the Chicago Mercantile State Exchange had an Ethereum reference rate and real-time index to the U.S. dollar. Guys, just what I'm wanting you to see here, aside from the details, is this is just another example of a s significant changes in the institutional framework around cryptocurrency. Here's a new smart e-card that stores 30, uh, 30 crypto accounts and credit and debit cards in one place. That's pretty cool. Uh, I also saw here that Coinbase targets uh, the $10 billion institutional investor market with a new suite of products. So again, this is a, the, 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 the major wallet provider and uh, exchange service announcing uh, products aimed at institutional investors. So these are, these are four kind of investment products uh, uh, where institutional investors have been holding back but these uh, address each of those concerns that institutional investors have, uh, such as security and regulatory compliance. So uh, as the Coinbase was reporting to CNBC, we think we can unlock $10 billion of institutional investor money sitting on the sideline. So again, this is another indication, uh, and, and, and here they report also about uh, the New York Stock Exchange so, uh, you know, I, 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 again, uh, the, you know, a funny one, uh, Bitcoin emerging as a threat to the U.S. dollar, according to the U.S. Fed chief. That's no surprise. Those are the bankers. They're always, uh, you know, pretty reticent. Uh, the European Central Bank talking about segregating 
crypto trading uh, from other activities. Uh, so uh, again, a clarity in the in, in the market. Uh, Circle getting 110 million in its investment round. So uh, just wanted you to see. These are just a couple of uh, ideas to give you the the understanding that. We're going to see uh, stability in the markets, even a rise in the markets, because these kinds of things are happening and institutional investors are more and more being encouraged into the market, incentivized into the market, and are coming into the market and institutional frameworks growing. So uh, it will be uh, a stronger and stronger hold for people like ourselves uh, wanting to put their funds. So. Uh, we've got a link below if you would like to get further information about the system that we are using to build our cryptocurrency assets and also a, a commission earning system. Uh, you're welcome to uh, to click on the link below. And uh, we'd be also grateful if you could subscribe to this channel so that we can keep you informed of all uh, forthcoming developments in the cryptocurrencies markets. Thank you for watching and take good care. Bye-bye.